Hello everybody. Let us start with the next program. This will be output of our program that I am showing you here. We will learn how to write a text, how to write, I mean how to draw the rectangle, how to draw a line, how to draw a circle, how to draw a half circle by using arc and how to draw the ellipse. And again, at last, a text is written. Now let us move to the code, how the code works. So I have already written the code for you so as to avoid the typing time. Now let us move the code one by one line. First of all, GDS detect you know to detect graphics drivers automatically and you need graph to initialize the graphics. Okay set back color white and here it is set color okay set color is for uh, setting the color of drawing that i'm going to draw well setting drawing color and color code is given here if you want to know about further information if you want to get about the any of methods written over here you can just move make your cursor move on the set color or any method just after that make your uh, your uh, search with the control f1 that is topic search okay the related graphics files and related functions will be found out and here if you want to know that what color code or what color i should give here so here is the solution for this equivalent color name equivalent color names are given here whether you write name of color itself in the capital letters or you give the value of this one so if you want to draw with brown or you can write brown uh, or you can write six directly over there so if i want to draw with the first i have written one on it. okay now the next method is set text style this one okay uh, set text style is to set the style of the text well how do it set the style I have given a comment in front of this set text style method is having three arguments number one is font second is direction whether to write uh, this in the horizontal or vertical direction zero is for horizontal direction and vertical for vertical direction we place one here and size size well six is the size of my text now out text xy in the same way uh, this will be the position x and y coordinates and third one will be the argument if whatever you want to write here okay so let me save it and run it what will be its output well this will be my name and this will be its writing style well you can change its direction also if i put here one then its direction will be changed to vertical uh, well you can see uh, like this way okay so I make it move back okay to write in the horizontal direction so this is the way how do we write the text of our choice well we can change the font from here like 4 can be changed to 5 okay uh, and this will be some different writing style okay so uh, I make it move back because I love 4 font so now uh, uh, well uh, let us make our move next move how to write a line or how to draw a line actually not write well this is so very simple again set color you know earlier i have told you how set color works and line method well line method is having four arguments first two arguments are to show from where line is starting and second two math second two arguments are to show where line is ending well this are complete screen this are complete c drawing screen is considered to be divided into the pixels and our pixels 0 0 start uh, from here well not uh, like the traditional drawing it is not starting from here 0 0 is not here it is here at this end so x increases in this direction as my cursor is moving and y increases in this direction as my cursor is moving okay so uh, let us make us our move 100 100 100 100 is 100 is starting x starting y ending x and ending y 
okay and now let us play our program and we find our output like this way okay so this is output how we can draw our line so uh, this very point is for line and now let now let us make a move how to draw the circle this is again you know uh, taking different arguments now let us see how it is taking different arguments i have given different colors for different type of drawing okay set color 3 third color i have set for the circle well it is taking three arguments and uh, return two for its center well x and y coordinates of its center and a radius radius is 50 i have given here this is a very simple you know uh, terminology as we give in mathematics and here points are depicted like this way well this is our circle how we can draw it okay so uh, let us make a move to the next point and uh, next point here we go with how to draw a rectangle okay a rectangle is having uh, four coordinates well, these four coordinates depicts top left corner coordinates and bottom right coordinate coordinates okay so these two points 10 10 are uh, are to display are, are to uh, have top left x and y top left x and top left y and these are uh, bottom right x and bottom right y okay so let us uh, again play this okay so this is our rectangle and defined color uh, different color okay now let us make our move to the next drawing and that is arc very interesting arc now how our arc make its move let us see here okay now so to understand arc we'll have to make our move to uh, help okay so control f1 topic search we go on and we see here it is taking how many arguments you can see here well x and y are the center this st angle is starting angle this is end angle this is radius now uh, arc is with a difference now how it is with a difference if i give that i have to draw from 90 to 0 90 to 0 it will not draw it in this move in uh, in in in, uh, in in this direction it will make it move like this it will draw from here to here okay and see here well in in, in, uh, in drawing i'll have to take if if i draw from 90 to 0 we do not expect it to be drawn from here to here it will be making its drawing from here to here okay now well let us uh, make a move if i say x y points these are x y points and this is starting angle and this is whatever be the ending angle and if it, it, it's its radius is like this way well, okay arc x y center x center y starting angle ending angle and its radius now let us uh, make a move and play it okay so well okay this is our arc uh, with a different color this is our arc now next uh, to uh, next to draw is ellipse okay ellipse is with a very little difference from uh, arc this is having one more argument um, in addition to arc it is having one more argument and that argument i'm going to tell you how uh, this argument is defined in this now ellipse ellipse these are the uh, centers number one number two and this is starting angle and this is ending angle now this is x radius and this is y radius i have given for the reference here uh, in the comments this is radius x and this is radius y now if you want to know more about this just make your cursor move here on ellipse and make it to the help control f1 and uh, well okay this is these are the coordinates for this well these this is called x radius okay this is called x radius and this is called y radius okay radius in direction of x and radius in y uh, well direction of y okay now ellipse okay now let us make it play and this is our output 
and this is how we can draw ellipse in a simple way just to give coordinates x radius and y radius and it is just drawn for us okay now now this is finished this is so very with a very simple terminology we have defined how we can draw text line circle arc and ellipse okay so uh, well all the best this is the output how you can draw different shapes and with these different shapes you can draw many smileys many kind of you know um, shapes car mobile phone aeroplane and uh, ma much many things you know arc and lines you can now draw now uh, for any uh, further queries you can you can just uh, make your queries on the uh, email given below and just have a nice time and good day we'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye